What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a high fade. So let's get to it. Here you see me using a one guard all the way closed. I'm gonna come up to the temple area and it's gonna drop just a little in the back. Kind of like a, a drop fade if you will, but a little bit higher than that. So the reason I like to, I like for it to drop in the back is because I really like the way it contours the shape of the head. We drop it down towards the occipital bone and you really get a much nicer transition with this. Guys, once that is complete, I want you to come back in and take down all of this bulk. I'm using the clipper over comb method, but you're more than welcome to use a number two guard. With that being said, I want you to come back in with a one guard all the way open and we're just gonna flick out here in the middle and kind of just lighten up some of these dark spots. As you can see here, I'm only using the corner of the blade and I'm also cutting in the direction in which the hair grows. And to get an even better transition, I decided to come in and hit it with my thinning shears. Um, I believe I have more control of what I'm hitting and what I'm removing with shears than with the guard. A quick tip, when you are doing shear over comb and you're either blending or thinning out, I want you to try your hardest to keep the shears and the comb parallel to one another and moving so simultaneously in the same direction. Do not get discouraged. This does, this, <laughs> this does take time to get down and it takes a lot of practice. So. Find someone who will let you practice on them, whether it's your grandpa, your dad, someone with someone who doesn't care, little cousin, little brother, S sit them in the chair and start practicing. Guys, be mindful and try your hardest to keep your client comfortable while they're in the chair. Dust them off, hit them with the blow dryer. It'll keep them calm, cool, and collected. Back to the cut, I threw on a one and a half guard I wanna say it's open, but I'm also gonna hit it closed. So don't worry about it. And this is just doing some detail work. Um, I saw a few dark spots, so that's why I decided to hit it with a one and a half. And that's pretty much it. Now we're jumping into the edge up. And you always wanna consult with your client whether they want it round or tapered out in this uh, situation, this is my boy Dakota. Shout out Dakota. I've been cutting his hair for, a, I want to say a year now, maybe a little more, but uh, I already know the way he likes his hair cut. If there's ever something he wants differently, he's quick to let me know. So you always want to have great communication with your client. And I believe more than the haircut, it's the service we provide. And I can guarantee you, he comes back to me every time just because I provide a great quality service. When you are doing the edge up around the ears or the edge up period, please, please, please keep it natural. Keep it as natural as possible. If it doesn't look sharp, who cares? I'm pretty sure your client would rather have a nice natural looking edge up than something that looks really, really sharp and crispy but you had to push it back a good inch or two. I mean, centimeters, my bad. But hey, I've seen it. Some people do push it back an inch or two. So here I am prepping the sideburns, getting the sideburns ready. Um, I'm not too worried about them because I know I'm gonna come in, fade them out and hit it with the razor. So this is just a little bit of a, I guess a rough draft. Okay guys, it's time to trim the top. The moment I've been waiting for. I love to use my shears and I'm about to show you a few tips and we're, uh, walk you along the way. So guys, wet the hair just a little bit. We want it nice and damp, nothing too crazy. And this is how I do it. And this is what's worked for me. So you start off by combing all the hair forward. As you can see, I'm getting the bangs and pulling them straight out forward with a lot of tension 
He has kind of wavy hair, so I want to make sure I'm putting nice tension on it. And I work from the top of the head, and I work my way back to, towards the crown of the head. And I believe we're only taking off half of an inch. But like I said earlier, consult with your client because half an inch to me might be a full inch to him or vice versa. So I usually like to show my client a mirror and make sure we're on the same page. As you can see guys, I'm cutting with the shears almost vertically, straight up and down into the hair. Um, and this is known as point cutting. When, you're, when you use the technique point cutting, um, you're not necessarily trying to take down the length perfectly. You're not cutting horizontally. And when this is done correctly, guys, it will create a ton of texture. There will be more movement in the hair, creating more volume. So it will be easier for them to, to style their hair every morning and get it to look the same way that it did when they left the barbershop. Guys, and I highly recommend you get comfortable with using your shears. Make sure you, you sharpen that skill set because I cannot tell you how many times I've had gentlemen, you know, in the age of 50, 60, come in and ask for a, a, a scissor cut. And what that means is they do not want clippers used on their hair. It's going to be simply using your shear and shear work all around the head. So these guys pay good money because they know that not everyone can do it. So these guys have probably bounced around from shop to shop having a horrible experience. Okay guys, now I'm going to blend the top of the hair to the sides and make sure you, you consult your client and you know let find out what look they're going for. Some people do like that undercut look and some don't. So just make sure you're on the same page with them on how they style their hair and what would be the best route to go to go with. Um, Okay, guys, now, dang it, I hate that. I hate that it's blurry and out of focus right now, but I'll tell you what I did. So by me blending the top to the sides, there was now a longer section right down the middle. And the top of the head and the side of the hair were the shortest length. So now what I'm doing is taking that longer section and just evening, evening it out with the sides. So bear with me. I know that was probably a bit confusing. So I'll just show you again on this side. We comb the hair over and like before, we're gonna work from the front and work our way towards the back, towards the crown area. So if you noticed, I combed through the hair two or three times before I actually started cutting. And this is just because you want, you want to always have a lot of tension on the hair. You want to make sure you're combing it right and applying the right amount of tension especially when they have curly or wavy hair. See, so this is the part that I didn't capture on the other side. So as you can see, that part right there is longer than the, the top and the side. So all we're doing is taking that middle section out and making sure it's nice and even. Now we're gonna go back to the middle, check our work. So we're almost done guys, bear with me. Try not to make this video too long. And so there you go. It's about a half inch off. That's gonna come off. And when we're done working from the front to the back, we're gonna come back and cross check. So I'll show you what that looks like here in a little bit. So as you can see, I'm gonna pull the hair up from side to side. And there you go, about a half inch off. I was about a complete inch off right there. So it's very important that we cross check. Very, very important. The last thing you wanna do is have short bangs and super long hair in the back. Unless you're going for like a crop or, or a, a fringe or something like that. But in this situation, it's not the look you want. So it's very important that I cross check. So it's time to style his hair. I'm going to be using a matte finish. El Patron has a very good pomade or paste, I believe. And so what you're gonna do is get about a, a pea size on your on the middle of your palm, and you're gonna rub your hands together, warm it up, 
and then you're just gonna shoe shine it a little bit you know what i mean you're not trying to get too deep into the roots you kind of want to just stay over the surface and use your fingertips all right guys so as you can see here i'm just gonna get in there and roughen it up a bit we're not shooting for perfect we want it to look a bit messy and just display that texture that we put in there give it that volume and that that flow that i was talking about earlier so right here i'm just trying to get them ready for ig for instagram so I'm using the guys if you don't have this comb or a comb like this i suggest you get one you can find one on amazon for like three bucks it's a game changer guys when it comes to to, to pictures and to styling and stuff like that it really makes a huge difference guys if you find this tutorial useful if you learn something from it hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you follow me on instagram at manual barber underscore you do know that i did his beard so that will be my next video that i will be dropping so subscribe and stay tuned for more videos more tips and more tricks guys this is mbtv Thanks for watching. Until next time.